Every day thousands of innocent people lose out on precious time because of bad movies and TV shows. Let's stop these atrocities. Welcome to Swiggy Weekend Watch List with me Ronak Rajani where I tell you the good shows to watch this weekend and the bad shows you should definitely watch this weekend. Sabas beta. Our first film this week is Adam Project on Netflix. It's about Adam Reed played by Ryan Reynolds who goes from the year 2050 to the year 2022 and meets his younger self. And together both these Adam Reeds go to the year 2018 to stop something disastrous from happening. You know, I was pretty disappointed that this disastrous thing was in the pandemic. Baat to sahi hai. It's a science fiction action comedy drama. The only thing more confusing than the name of this genre is the number of Adams in this film. Kya baat hai sir? Kya baat hai sir? क्या बात ये बात है इट्स अ लिटिल कंफ्यूजिंग बिकॉज वन एडम मीट्स एन अदर एडम एंड वेन दे टॉक टू इच अदर दे कॉल इच अदर एडम एंड देन दे गो टू ट्वेंटी एटीन एंड मीट एडम्स डैड एंड टूगेदर दे प्ले विद टाइम विच इज अन्सेप्ट एज ओल्ड एज इवन एडम क्या बढ़िया था गुरु Look, when it comes to acting, Ryan Reynolds is playing the same role that he's played in the last ten films. But Walker Scobell, the kid who's playing a younger Ryan, did an amazing job of embodying the Ryan Reynolds persona. Wow, what acting is he doing? Ryan plays himself so much that even others around him are starting to do it now. What's interesting is that it's a buddy movie where both the characters are the same character. One is from the past, one is from the future. Self-love is the best sort of love, guys. <laughs> Now if you're a Marvel fan the movie is very exciting because it's got the Hulk it's got Gamora Elektra and Deadpool She got a new superhero landing wait for it Dude I felt like I was watching a prequel to Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness We reached a point in Hollywood now where all actors have a day job at Marvel wo log din mein Marvel ke liye act karte hain aur raat ko khud ke liye Zindagi ho to aise ho Another interesting fact about this film is that Adam Reed's parents, Jennifer Garner and Mark Ruffalo, were a couple in the 2004 movie 13 Going on 30. You know that movie, right? Where a 13-year-old wakes up as a 30-year-old. I think ye family mein time travel ka problem hereditary hai. Oh my god! The movie has some amazing VFX and it has elements that will remind you of 80s movies like Back to the Future, Terminator, Star Wars. The closest I've come to time travel is fast forwarding and rewinding on a film on Netflix, which kind of helps. Because this movie is fast-paced, and you blink, you might miss something. It's mostly written like a children's movie, but there's a few cuss words here and there, which makes it PG-13. Going on 30. बहुत तेज हो रहा है हैं. It's a great movie to watch with the whole family. And if your family doesn't agree, then please use a time machine and watch it with your younger self. In fact, the emotional family scenes are quite cathartic. Grown-up Adam told younger Adam all the things that I would tell my younger self. Except I would also say, bro, please buy Netflix shares. Speaking of time travel, let's talk about a show which would have done great if it released five years ago. Rudra: The Edge of Darkness on Disney Plus Hotstar. Rudra is played by Ajay Devgan, a morally grey super cop. It's a psychological crime thriller where he solves twisted crimes and also in his personal life he's trying to save his marriage. It's been described as a race against time, but in my opinion, the clock was winning. समझ रहे हो? समझ रहे हो? It's like any other Indian crime series except it's short and sepia and has a little more gore. It's basically the answer to agar CID raat ke 1 baje aata to. Before I start reviewing the series I must tell you that I loved Ajay Devgan sorry Ajay Devgan's performance throughout the show. For the first time he plays a jaded brooding cop who breaks the rules to get his killer. I'm so used to seeing Ajay Devgan play Singham. A morally correct cop But seeing him play the polar opposite was so much fun. In fact, I want to see a movie where Rudra and Singham play together, like a good cop bad cop movie. In fact, we'll call it Good Cop Bad Cop. Back up. Guys, where are you going? Hello. Guys, Good Cop Cop. Dur na ja bhag. Devgan plays a seasoned super cop who can deduce whether or not you've done the crime based on your facial expressions and your body language. I'm not even lying. In one episode, he said, "This girl is the killer because I yawned and she didn't yawn back at me." You're just judging people based on their first impression. Maybe you're a building secretary. I was yawning throughout the show, so at least I know I'm not the serial killer. Ah ha! Ah ha! Rashi Khanna has acted very well on the show. She plays Rudra's first suspect and later confidant. She used to be an ex-child prodigy, which is why they dropped all evidence against her. Which goes to show that in India, me agar marks achhe hote na, then you can get away with murder also. I also did some detective work myself. 
if this ex child prodigy finishes her phd at 18 at 13 she finished her post grad at the age of 11 she finished undergrad she finished her 12th at the age of 8 that's not possible because 8 is less than 12 <laughs> The series is an official remake of BBC One's Luther, which released 12 years ago. Which is why Rudra doesn't work so much for me now. Because in these last 12 years, we've seen shows with similar themes but a lot more depth. We've seen better killers, better cops and better darkness. The dialogues are so expository, it's like... You know you're crazy, right? Jo main kahungi voi hoga. Aur usse bhi zaruri jo main nahi kahungi wo nahi hoga. Saboot ka na hona saboot kaise ho sakta hai? Mubarak ho, main tumhare bacche ki maa banne wali hu. Badhai do, tum mere bacche ke papa banne wale. Choti bachche ho kya? Okay, I made up the last few ones, but I would like to congratulate the makers of my next recommendation. Badhai do on Netflix. The movie is about Shardul Thakur, a homosexual cop who gets married to Suman Singh, a homosexual PE teacher. Both of them are not out of their closet yet, but they want to get their families off their back. So they fake their marriage and live together as roommates. What's the plan? Suman is married to Shardul, but she also has a girlfriend. This is the only time the students can actually say, Chat PE teacher ka affair chal raha. Bada haram hi ho. You know, there's one scene where Suman's mom tells her, Ganit ki teacher ban jati, science padhati, PT teacher ban gai, uski tak tuition bhi nahi hoti hai. Which I thought was wrong. PT teacher banna is a lot of hard work. You have to convince students ki please tuitions pe jao, nito bade ho ke PT teacher ban jao ge. Honestly, I'm just glad that Bollywood has gone from to they show that when Shardul was young, he wanted to compete to be Mr. India, which was a dream fulfilled by our society because his homosexual identity was invisible to them. At one point in the movie, they show that Suman is on a lesbian dating app, but they would never show the same for Shardul. Because let's be honest, no one swiping right on a person dressed in a police uniform and saying, I want to meet him alone. That's like if your class teacher is like, hey, who wants to go for drinks later on? Oh. It's a light-hearted movie and does a great job at being funny while being politically correct and doesn't make jokes at the expense of gay people. The movie also briefly touches upon the topic of adoption for homosexuals. Isn't it funny that we live in a country where everything is shadi karlo or bache karlo, but homosexuals aren't allowed to do either? Bat to say. Dude, parents ko farak nahi padta tum closet ke andar ho ya bahar. Un logo ko bas ghar pe bache chahiye. Can you imagine how many straight couples would use this excuse if they could? Peta, why don't you do children? Secretary, uncle, we haven't allowed the government to allow the government. I did not find any logical flaws in the movie except one. When they agree to get married, they essentially agree to be roommates. How can you agree so quickly to be a roommate with a stranger? What if they don't wash their clothes every day? What if they put their wet towel on the bed? What if they finish up all the food and then don't even pick up their plate and expect you to do it? What if they keep the geezer on and don't switch it off? What if... What? I'm not talking about you! No, I'm not gonna give this back to you. You can't throw it at me while I'm working. Thank you for watching Weekend Watch List with me, Ronak Rajani. Do let us know what you thought of this episode in the comments below. Today's Swiggy question is, what's the weirdest thing your building secretary has said to you? The best answer gets Swiggy vouchers. Comment below. Have a great Swiggy weekend.